John, how are you, man? Hey, how's it going today? Good, man. Thank you very much for uh, taking time with us today. Yeah, absolutely. It's great to chat with you. Uh, John Cooper from Skillet, of course, taking over the uh, brand new pub station ballroom coming up in just a couple of weeks. And uh, it's been a long time since you've been back here, man. It's about time, right? I was trying to think back because me and you have met, but it was probably when you were with Papa Roach and uh, My Darkest Days. Crazy. I was just saying to my wife today, because we're playing a venue today, I said, yeah, we played you on that Papa Roach tour. It was like 500 years ago. <laughs> I it's, think it about, was... it's about time that we're, we're coming. You know, we haven't done a headline tour on the West Coast in like five or six years. That's kind of what I was and, thinking. You guys uh, have been touring the world like crazy, though. Yeah, we really have, you know, and, 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 and that was all good, and I, I liked it. It was, it was great, it, but, but I kept, every time I would be in like, seriously, Czech Republic or something, I, I would be call my manager and say, hey, we need to do a tour like this in the U.S. This is going really good, and we haven't done it in years, and uh, it's finally worked out. I can't wait to come see the fans. And there's so much action on social media, people that are, you know, they're like, finally, you're coming, you know, over here. And, and uh, I'm thrilled, man. That's what we were thinking, too. Finally, Skillet's coming. In. It's a brand new venue, which is going to be just sick. And uh, you're bringing, cool. bringing some really cool uh, special guests, Devour the Day and the Sick Puppies, which Sick Puppies have been uh, one of my favorite bands for a while. <clears throat> How do- you know what? The, the, the bands are absolutely awesome. You know, we, we toured together. For the first time well, on the same package last year, so you know our record came out in, in uh, what was that August I think, and we we went on the Unleashed tour at the end of September October around there, and uh, but we didn't hit the West, you know we we only had 25 dates and we had Sick Puppies Devour the Day and and uh, it, there was such a great connection and such a uh, the whole tour you know sometimes a tour has a vibe you know each band is always going to have a vibe. But sometimes a tour has a vibe, and, and that's how it was. And so when I said, hey, we are definitely, we need to do a, you know, an, an extension in 2017. we got to go to the West Coast. Uh, you know, I had my manager and label and agent, everybody's saying, hey, what about this band? What about this band? And I just said, man, I want the same bands. It was such an amazing tour, such a great vibe. They're so good. Don't change anything. You know, it's a little bit like, don't touch it. It's working. <laughs> <laughs> right. And you, you've really, you've got to tour with just about it every rock band that i can think of for the last like 15 years right we, we tour with a, a lot of bands yeah who's been your, but, but, who's been your favorite to be out on tour with have you made some friends oh, like man. close friends and some other bands yeah we've made some really great friends uh and, and i have a tour with everybody so maybe i'll put a plug in you know if anyone <laughs> from avenge sevenfold is listening yeah uh, there you, go. you know or if james hetfield's listening if you can get on that metallica uh, volbeat tour this summer oh be- my gosh <laughs> Right. Come on, man. Honestly, I would fight 20 grown men at one time <laughs> to get on that tour. Uh, anyway, <laughs> anyway, no, 20 hung, grown hungry men like yeah, they right. haven't eaten in a while. <laughs> Anyhow, um, you know, I've made some great friends. You know, you mentioned the Papa Roach tour. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're, they're such great people. Me and uh, uh, Jacoby hit it off. You know, we're kind of cut from the same cloth, I guess, in a lot of ways, but He's uh, just a real inspiration to me as a as a front man and a, and a person. He's just really cool. I don't know how to explain it. He is just a, really, a great guy. Really, really cool. Yeah, guy. And, and I think probably like, in my opinion, probably like the greatest front man in rock and roll today. In, in my opinion, still, I just think he's really good. We had a great time, uh, but also uh, Shine Down. We oh, toured yeah. with twice now, I think, and such great people. I and mean, they talk about like, you know, uh, Mister Positive Energy. You know, right. this band is like. <laughs> Brandon, but all of them, Zach, all those guys are so cool. Uh, 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 Corey Taylor, we toured with uh, Stone Sour oh, yeah. and uh, got to be good friends with Corey. He's, he's just awesome. So those are some of, some of my favorite people we toured with. You know, it's crazy that I think, what are you guys celebrating your 20 years this year or 21 maybe? Woo! The band's old enough to drink. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah, um, let's see, last year was actually our 20th anniversary for Skillet. Yeah, crazy. it's just bananas. I can't believe it. Because yeah, I'm not old enough. I'm only like 28. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> so you started, started the when band when you, were, yeah, when you were like eight, sure. <laughs> but when you guys were coming out, uh, you know, everybody on the charts was Bush and Stone Temple Pilots. And it, that's got to be just crazy to think back. It, it really is. You know, it's funny because... Um, you know, Skillet has been a, it's a really unique band because 
uh, most bands that have been around for 20 years, the, the reason they're around is because when they came out, they, they just blew up, you know, like, you know, Alice in Chains or right. something like that. Right. And Skillet is, the, is really the opposite. I mean, Skillet didn't have a radio hit for, for literally 12 years, first 12 years. So I would have liked to have had a radio hit, but <laughs> we didn't. And uh, what it meant was that our career was kind of this, like, underground army type thing. And it, it kept, you know, accelerating, accelerating. And then finally, when we had that radio hit, it was kind of like, I mean, already I used to tell people, you know, Skillet's, uh, in fact, I still say, Skillet is the biggest selling band you've never heard of. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys really so, worked for it hard, you know? I mean, you, you, we, you worked hard. We did. And, and, uh, and, and, but, and, but we're really lucky because we had, we've just had like those fans that have been with us from the beginning, you know, people that have six, seven, eight skillet records, and that, that's very unusual. So our fans are loyal, and uh, we always try to treat them really good because they, they keep us in business. Well, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Unleashed record because I, I remember a Rolling Stone article with uh, Angus Young from ACDC. They said something about you've been accused of making the same album 13 times, and he said that's bullshit. We made the same album 14 times. Uh, skillet <laughs> is just the opposite of that, man. You got nine albums, and none of them are the same album. You know, I mean, you you almost oh, can't man. tell between some of them that it's even the same band. That's hilarious. Yeah, I've never heard that quote. But that <laughs> is that a great is, quote? That is, you know, second second coolest rock quote I've ever heard. That's just <laughs> behind, uh, which I'm sure you heard uh, was uh, uh, when Jason Newstead from from Metallica uh, we when, sold when, out. You, you, yeah, you know, I knew you'd know it. Yep. They say you're a sellout. You're right. We sell out every night, every, every night, show, every, every city. Show. Oh, my gosh. You know, it, it, what's really great is, is uh, yeah, who's going to have the, the nerve to, uh, to, to chastise ACDC? They created <laughs> a sound, so they should keep it. You know, in fact, I've always told people, hey, one of the reasons Skillet is always trying new things and doesn't want to make the same record is because we're not. We're not Metallica. You know, we didn't start something that no one else has ever done. And I think when you do that, you need to kind of you need to kind of keep a little bit more to that sound. The skill is more of about the lyrics, mm -hmm. and it's more about my voice. And, and, and sometimes people be like, I recognize that singer, but I don't know who it is. So what what kind of keeps us going? The identity of skill is more to do with the lyrics and like. Um, I've heard a lot of reviewers say about our records, it has that skillet feeling. That's what they say. Right, yeah, Even that's what the, it is. The sound is changing a little bit. And I like that because uh, um, it, it, it keeps you getting new fans, and it, it keeps you uh, maybe surprising people and trying something that you, they didn't think you'd ever try. You know, right. and, and I personally really like that. Well, and that's kind of how the band came up came about, and the name of the band, right? I mean, you called it Skillet because yeah. you were all just kind of throwing something into the... That's exactly right. You know, it's it's funny because it's, it's very in keeping with, with who we are. The skillet is, I don't think we ever necessarily did something completely brand new by any means, but, but I think what we, what sounds unique about skillet is that we are a bit of, a, of, a, of um, you know, a melting pot of different eras of music. There's a lot of, like, 70s, uh, what I would call arena rock, mm -hmm. uh, even, cla you know, that kind of classical stuff, like Fleetwood Mac and and meatloaf and queen you can hear a lot of that drama in our music and even in the string you know we have a lot of string sections and things and right. duets between me and my drummer jen so there's a, a girl and a guy vocal thing that's kind of very fleetwood mac but also there's there's kind of a, a metal thing about our band um but at the same time we also play with what i would consider to be very kind of modern music and and that would be more in keeping with like um, like what Linkin Park was doing and, and Evanescence when, right. when they first came out. So, yeah, I think it's kind of a melting pot, and, and I like that. It keeps it fun. You know, I'd been thinking about the band. It's funny you brought up Fleetwood Mac. That never even crossed my mind because kind of my final question was going to be about having girls in the band. I know sick puppies do too, but is it uh, is it different being on the road like that? Do you gotta do you have to wait for the women to get out of the makeup and everything? Do you, are you guys constantly waiting on the girls? <laughs> you know. It, not really. I mean, there definitely is a different, there is a, a different standard there. You know, you have to be kind of aware that, you know, they don't want to live like dudes do. And, you know, like, right. oh, I just woke up and roll, roll off the bus to go get a coffee. 
you know, they're like, hey, we got to look a certain way here. Everybody's going to be posting this on social media. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, so there are some different things like that. But, uh, you know, the funny thing about us having girls in the band is it's really funny. When we we were the first hard rock band to have a, a girl in the band that, that I was aware of. I'm not saying it had never been done. Right. I'm saying it very, very few times. And it was funny because it was a, a real point of the people that, that, like, that a lot of the industry didn't like, you know, if they were like, oh, this is not really real rock. They got chicks in the band. And, and then finally something changed, and, and then it was like, oh, man, they got chicks in the band. <laughs> <laughs> right. It was kind of like, you know, a, a hit song can kind of change the vibe. And all of a sudden it was like the really cool selling point of the band. And, and I always thought it was cool because uh, when you come see a Skillet show, like you'll see right off the bat, like uh, the girls in our band are just wicked, and just uh, you know, I tell my wife Court plays guitar. I say she's she's the second best performing guitar player in the world on stage, uh, and and oh, second only to Angus Young, and <laughs> nobody can be Angus, so no, don't even try. You know? Corey does shred, and and if anybody's never seen Jen on the drum set, just beating the crap out of that thing, then then they don't w- wouldn't even know what to think. It's yeah, it's, it's it's pretty cool. Well, March 2nd, 7.30, Pub Station Ballroom with the Sick Puppies and Devour the Day. We're really looking forward to it, John. Thank you very much for taking time with me today. Hey, it was great to chat with you. I'll see you soon. See you in a couple weeks, man. Take care. You got it.